studying text in isolation or studying it layered, um, multi-layered together, it depends on what you're trying to purposefully explore. Absolutely, there's a time and a place for inquiry, you know, where you may be presenting multiple texts and you're looking for that multiple perspective, that multiple lens that you're trying to draw out of your students as they um, become critical thinkers, inquirers, um, and navigating that process. However, at the same time, there may be some times when you're really trying to explore an important topic uh, and you might just kind of hone in on it for a little bit. But I think sometimes when we tell multiple stories, it's a great way of navigating Indigenous literature. And that way, there's not kind of this isolation, this kind of um, funneling effect. I would like to say that educators make an attempt to infuse Indigenous literature from the time they walk in in August until the time that they leave in June and that is a natural way every day to infuse literature. Are your information texts written by Indigenous authors and illustrators? Um, are your guided reading books um, Indigenous, indigenous uh, subject areas? You know, really looking at what you have in your libraries, what do you have sitting in your front entry? Really make, being purposeful in how you infuse those texts so that it's not isolated. It has this kind of trickle effect, this um, braiding of threads like the Métis sash. How is it woven into curriculum like the Métis sash? How does it continue to um, be like that infinity symbol for the Métis? That constant to and fro, the pendulum going back and forth, and how is that deeply embedded and immersed in our, in our Canadian classrooms and Alberta? segregate the literacy to one specific unit. It shouldn't just be on Orange Shirt Day. It shouldn't just be on National Aboriginal Awareness Day. It needs to be every day. So um, integrating, not segregating. If you're teaching a text, congratulations and bravo, thank you. Musi Cho, thanks for teaching Indigenous literature in your classroom. I think that the best part of today is that if you are studying, let's say Jennifer Storm's Deadly Loyalties, it's so easy now to First of all, write to Jennifer because she's on Facebook every single day. She also has a new graphic novel out, Firestarters, which is fantastic. It's on reconciliation. It's very easy to write to Jennifer, ask her direct questions, and then at the same time, get your students to research on Amazon or Goodreads, whatever it is out there, other books in that genre that are quick reads, that are fantastic reads, that are dealing with the same theme. So I would concentrate on one issue at a time, do you know what I mean? One publication at a time, but then follow up with maybe some of the new short stories that are coming out. But if you need help, get in touch with me, Richard Van Camp, put me to work, work me like a rented mule, I will find sources for you.